Well, new tonight at 530, a developer's plan to increase the number of loft apartments in Buffalo faces a very big step early next week. That is when E Square Capital will bring its proposal to turn an old factory in Black Rock into new housing. As we hear tonight from Channel 2's Dave McKinley, it's the latest chapter in a story about a section of the city that has gotten pretty hot in the last few years. He's done the Washington Street building downtown, the former YMCA on North Street, and now Aaron Epstein has set his sights on this, a sprawling former factory which more than a century ago made car radiators, which he plans to convert into 80 loft apartments. Does this represent your biggest project? I think dollar wise it does. Of all the brown fields in a box you could find in Buffalo, why this one? You can see that the Niagara Corridor has really come a long way from the Crescendo to the Mentholatum building and even on uh, Tanawanda Street across the street where they're redeveloping the old uh, train station. Um, this seemed like a great, you know, progression northbound. What's the biggest challenge for you with this? Um, challenge so far, I mean, is really the condition of the building. In a word or three, it's a mess. If you stand on Tanawanda Street and you look up at the four-story building, there's no more roof, so the roof's gone. Sorry, the northernmost part of the building collapsed completely and has to be rebuilt. She needs a lot of TLC. Nothing $23 million won't fix, which is the price tag of the project and approval of the site plan, which he hopes to get from the city's planning commission on Monday. We are viewing that as our, you know, full throttle ahead to get this project underway. And completed by perhaps late 2020. Who's going to live here? Folks that are in their, you know, not starting out their career, they're, you know, maybe a promotion or two into their job or people who can't afford the $1,500 one bedroom lofts that are being built. So our goal is really to come out with, you know, a $1,000 one bedroom, one bath and maybe a $1,300 two bedroom unit. And what might make this old place stand out from all the other trendy lofts going up around town? Well, you might say it does have some access to waterfront. Skid Jackwood, a creek here hugs the property. Maybe we do like have buy some kayaks and just keep them in the mini storage and have, you know, tenants sign them out. Epstein's story is typical of some we've heard about someone who came from New York City to go to Buffalo for college and then ended up falling in love with the place, although it is a little bit different in that while in his early 20s, when some of his fellow students were hitting the books or the bars, he kept himself busy by acquiring and renovating properties in the city's university district. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.